What's up guys? Let's set up the Xiaomi Mi 4A Wi-Fi router. I'm gonna guide you through the whole process. And the first step is to establish the physical connection. So what we have here? We have the power adapter here. You need to connect your router to the source of power. And then before you start the setup, you need to wait for this power indicator to start uh, glowing solid blue light. Uh, in the meantime, you can connect the router to the internet. Uh, so you have three ports here, two are grouped together and why one is staying uh, aside. It's blue inside and it's labeled internet. So that's what you need. Plug in your Ethernet cable there and the other end plug into the Ethernet port on your modem. Uh, by the way, of course, you can connect your router directly uh, to your LAN socket in the wall if you have a free one. But I'm using this modem, so let me connect using my modem. Um, now you can continue on any of your Wi-Fi gadgets, smartphone or laptop. Uh, user manual uh, recommends us to install the MI Wi-Fi application, but the matter is that the working version of the app is in Chinese, but the international version hasn't been updated for a long time and doesn't work on new smartphones. So uh, I'm gonna show you the whole process on the laptop uh, on my desktop web browser and you can repeat the same actions in your smartphone web browser. Uh, this is uh, absolutely equal processes, so let's go ahead. Uh, so first of all, make sure that the power indicator on your router is glowing solid blue and the internet indicator is blinking. And then you need to connect your uh, device, whether it's smartphone or laptop, uh, you need to connect it to the router's network. Go to your Wi-Fi settings, open the Wi-Fi networks list and scroll down until you see Xiaomi network. So you have 2.4 gigahertz band and 5 gigahertz band here. Connect to any. Let's connect to the faster one. Okay, let's connect. And then open your browser and open new tab and in search bar type in the following IP address. This is your router's default gateway or you can just use this address. Uh, rotor dot mi hyphen wifi dot com. Write it down somewhere. By the way, you can find this address in your user manual. Uh, so we are on the welcome page now. We are in English. So select your country on origin. Click to select. I'm currently in Czechia. Uh, then click on next. Uh, agree to the terms and conditions, user agreement and privacy policy. That's okay. And now click on try it now, this big button. Then the system automatically detects your connection mode. It's DHCP, click on next here. And let's see what we have here. Uh, combined dual band, so uh, toggle it on if you have, uh, if you wish to have 2.4 and 5 gigahertz uh, bands together in one network. Uh, I'm good with it. Uh, then create your Wi-Fi name. Uh, my good Wi-Fi, good name, good Wi-Fi, and create your Wi-Fi password. Uh, and of course, uh, let me let me uh, tell you one thing here. Uh, if you connect in your router uh, directly to your Wi-Fi or to your LAN socket in your wall, probably you will need to enter your provider's uh, spatial 
login and password. If you don't know this login and password, you have to contact your provider. So uh, make Wi-Fi password the router administrator password. It's okay for me. For a better experience, automatically upgrade the firmware version uh, for you when the router is idle. Okay, let it be. Let it be. Uh, so let me show you uh, if this switcher is un untoggled. You need to enter uh, separate names for your 2.4G bands and 5G bands. Let's proceed with uh, unified band, my good Wi-Fi, and here click on next. It's setting up. Please wait. So setup complete. Wi-Fi restarting. Let's let's check it. So the password is one two three four five six seven and nine so uh this is your summary your wi-fi network name a password administrator background this is admin panel uh write down this address or you can find it in your user manual administrator password so let's see if we have new network i don't see the changes so far uh, let's try to refresh the Wi-Fi. Uh, that's it, my good Wi-Fi. Let's try to connect. From one to nine. Okay, let's click on next. Verifying and connecting. Okay, connected and secured. And now let's try to log in to our administrator background panel. So let's type in the IP gateway. Hit enter. QR code for the application downloading, but you don't need it, I think. Wait a little. And that's it, guys. You have Wi-Fi now. You're all set. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and be awesome. Bye, guys.